Mandy from Mandy Woodstone Glass. When I was a very small child in our Anglican church that I grew up in in Howick had beautiful stained glass windows that are still there and I just fell in love with it. I absolutely love colour and I love glass. I guess it's partially dangerous and it's mostly just fun. Intermediately I was a financial planner for about five years but realised that people in this business don't have smiles. So I decided to go back to stained glass and follow my passions. Actually, I've been a stained glass artist since the 1980s. I specialise in making stained glass windows, jewellery and ornaments. I think you go on into another part in your mind, like anybody that's creative and you have no idea how long it's taking you to make, make something so sometimes I'll start four or five o'clock in the morning and I'll still be going at it at four or five o'clock in the afternoon. It's like all art, it's very different to doing anything else. Customers generally come in and don't have any idea at all of what they want so I'll sit down with them and do a consultation, show them around the gallery and they'll pick out features of different windows that they like and at the same time I'll notice which colours they like the most. And then I'll sit down and draw something for them on the spot and give them a quote on the spot for that as well so they know exactly how much they're spending. But I also ask them their budget because there's no point in wanting something that's a million dollars when you've only got five hundred dollars. So I also make sure that it fits inside their budget. But the most precious art may be self-created, so interested people can take lessons with me to create their own masterpiece. I guess the fact that when people have it in the finished product, they've gone from a little tiny drawing to the finished item in their home, just the, their excitement for what they've got and the passion that they get from it is the passion that I get from it. So when it's all finished and the customer loves it, then I'm a happy person. <laughs> That's my biggest buzz. Or the other thing is students, because I love teaching and I love the way students mature, um, doing things they thought they could never do, which is cut glass. Everybody thinks it's a big mystery and difficult, and it's not. It's actually something very easy uh, most people. I think I've had one person in 30 years that I wasn't able to teach glass. So whether you're four years old or 80 years old, pretty much you can cut glass. So if you're looking for extraordinary things to see, New Zealand made souvenirs or gifts or activities to do in Dargaval, I'd love to welcome you to 13 River Road. Glass is the best. <laughs>